just changed what I was going to do today, which is okay, I guess. I'm going to go see if I can find that pulley for that other rider. Just set it in there thinking, just because it's made that way doesn't mean it needs to stay that way. If we could just, we just find a pulley with the right size shaft, uh, a shim, or make a shim, shim it up, I could, I don't know. Excuse me. But yep, it's raining today, and I swore the news last night said it was supposed to be sunny. I guess that's Saturday, Sunday, then a chance of rain all the way from Sunday the night to Thursday. I'm like, oh man. Oh, so yeah. Not sure what we're going to all get done today. Because I had thought about going up to the salvage yard and get some stuff before that money evaporates up there. And, uh, well, it's raining. I don't want, I'm not a duck. And, uh, one of you guys on Skype was talking to me last night, and your package hasn't showed up yet. Uh, so, if you said it when you said you did, that, it should have been here. So, I guess, uh, just a note for you to know that. Anyway, uh, you guys need to check out some other guys uh drive shaft drew and then star star puss red and uh, i'm screwed that up for you and then darren siobhan and i think i said it right i hope sorry guys i'm out of my computer so i don't have a look <laughs> so i hope i didn't put your guys's name too bad they're three good guys too and star puss i think he's 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 out there he, he's been there. He's got quite a few viewers and that, and he does some interesting stuff. So, Drive Shaft, he's got a hell of a voice. He can sing. And Darren, he does. Uh, um, shadow boxes and stuff with lettering and that. So, all good stuff to watch. So, well, we'll get up there and I'll see if I can find a bullet for this more. We'll get that and get that damn thing running and out of there. So, hey, man, now it's about the time I wish I had a lathe. <laughs> uh, first place I went to, I was told to go to. <laughs> he tried a couple pulleys and then he gave up. He's like, Nah, we ain't got nothing like that. Nope, wouldn't even look. I'm like, Okay. So I went to Baumgars and I found a pulley, which has got too big a center. And then these little bushings, uh, that, there was over 30 bucks spent. Oh God, it don't take long, but uh, that, the lathe would be handy because I think one of the bushings I got it just ever so cut off all hair, but uh, I might have thought of how to do that. I got a 5H drill that I could maybe chuck that up in and spin it and hold the hacksaw on it and cut it off. It's only got to be taken off just a little. So, yeah. Oh, I know how to get it there, right? I think. And actually, I think if it was another 16th of an inch taller, it won't be so bad. So. Hopefully, we can get something fabbed up for that because I'm going to have to sandwich that bearing between uh, flat washers to hold it. And uh, all I can do is try. But uh, yeah, I told the guy at John Deere, uh, he just wasn't interested in uh, helping. I'm like, okay, fine. So, tried the welding shop here in town and he's like oh, I ain't got nothing like that third place bonders so, well we'll go back stack everything up and see what we got and see how much I do have to take off if any so all right all right I've been thinking about this on the way home and I just checked and it could but anyway, I got to take and see how tall 
Okay, about the two spacers. It was a little five eighths to three eighths. If I had a lathe, I could almost lay that off, but it's not tall enough. So, but I got this and that. And according to that, I'm still short. I was trying to figure it out over at the store. Okay, because, let's see. Ah, that's where it's going to, okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, that's where it's changing. Okay. Now, if this is the same, 3 sixteenths, 3 sixteenths. Okay, that's 3 sixteenths. This one is. Five sixteenths. Five sixteenths. Okay, so from here to there, down. Think about this for a second. I got this. Yeah, I gotta go from there to there. Babes. Okay. Around the inch. So if I put this one over this hole, close that off. That thickness of that bearing race will make a difference. Whoa, I almost had it. Just a little over an inch. Inch and a sixteenth. Nine four eight. I know I'm cheating. <sighs> but that's not what I gotta worry about here. This is what I gotta worry about. This setting. Which means that is <sighs> okay. Somebody's out there going, wait, 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 wait. wait. So what? Wait a minute. Yeah, because if this was here, 
because the bearings used to be offset. So it would be flush on that side. So I need to stick. Oh, hey! I need to stick down to raise that up to clear the bracket. And this here, all combined, is. Zero, that's zero. Nine two eight, which is that, but okay, this is five eight. So, well, yeah, it's okay. Nine, Aha! Uh -huh. Well, okay. I ain't got a machine nothing. You can see this before would be offset because the where the two they used to have two rolls of ball bearings there and there. So once you line that up, that means that was sticking flush on one side, sticking out like that, and that's what I got going right now. So see, I've got that sticking out. And the thickness of the bearing is going to change what I need, so I should be able to just slide all this in there. Oh, I got to get this uh, thing here. Drove into that, or pressed in, or probably use the press and press that in. Actually, yeah, well, yeah. I'll get that pressed in and double check but I'm pretty sure I don't have to cut anything off like I was thinking. I'm thinking too hard on the way home. So, okay. Alright. Okay, we got it pressed in. I got it reduced down, got it pressed in. Spins good. So I'm going to have this washer here to cover the bearing so the bearing race is held. Set that there. Set that there. And put that washer on top to lock it all together. And guess what? I've got my inch and a sixteenth. So luckily I didn't have to cut anything off. What was throwing me off is this has got a deeper offset than this one. So alright. I'll get a light and we'll get down there and start putting this in and see if we can get this thing back together. So alright. I know it's kind of hard to show you guys in the shop. So, let's see that. This. I'll have to get up under the motor and make sure everything's where it's supposed to be, but there it is. Hopefully you guys are seeing that. Yep. 
I'll get down there, tighten up, put the fan back on, put the battery box box back in, and hook her up and see what we got. But uh, yeah. So okay, get that there. All right. Well, we'll get that tightened, and uh, it looks like it's going to have about the same amount of threads sticking out. So it's got to be good. Gotta be good. We got clearance. Yep, we got clearance. So, all right. Well, hopefully the battery's still good because uh, had it on the charger a couple of times, keeping it charged up. Starting to make me wonder if that one charger's working. So, yeah, she don't want to turn over. Let's see. So I either got a dead battery yet, or. Oh yeah, that's right, the seat's up, so it's not going to. Anyway, I guess I'll let that charge for a while. Just what I didn't want to find. Evidently, the carburetor didn't stop. Motor's full of gas. It just puked back out the... It's not in oil, though, but it's pushing gas back out the thing, so... Wonderful. All right, I'm going to get down there and get the spark plug out. After I tear the front end off to get to it. Well, let's see how much gas or whatever comes running out. It smells like gas.
I guess I need a new spark plug. Let's see what the heck's going on with that carburetor. I thought I was going to be done with that thing. Alright. Wonderful. Just what I wanted to smell like today. carburetor off and find out what happened to that, huh? This thing's been stored inside and under a roof, so I don't understand what happened here. It's gas. It is definitely gas. Now I gotta go get more carb cleaner to clean shit off with. Oh! Wow, what a mess. everything inside just got washed up. I'm going to have to change the oil on it a couple of... I'm going to have to get enough oil to change it twice right away. Run it for a little bit, dry it out. Ah, let's heaters going in here. What a grenade at the damn place. Heck, that would feel like a room. Yeah. I just told him, I said, your mower is making for an interesting video. He said, I'll be over to check it out, maybe. is just disintegrated here. Well, there's a little fuel left in it, so I guess it wasn't completely out of fuel. Evidently something that push all the gas through for some reason. Alright. Hey, it's what? No wonder it was pushing out the thing, because the uh, <laughs> piston was stroking back and they didn't have nowhere to go. All right, I'm going to start turning that off and get that carburetor off. Probably have to dip it and clean it. See what the heck's going on there. Warming it up. 
Drive. There's my big oil stain and gas and whatever the hell else was mixed. It's done. It's sitting outside. But I gotta get back in because he's not gonna come for it today. Been out mowed with it, aired up the tires and that, got the oil changed. She runs, it drives, it goes. That's all I care. What a I messed with that well three hours but I didn't charge him for the full three hours come on camera well yeah I did yeah no what I I'll be okay with that what I charged I forgot about the oil oh well so that'll be out of here hopefully <laughs> So I don't know why that decided to dump all the gas through the carburetor or what, but I couldn't find nothing in the bowl. Bowl. Bleh. I couldn't find anything in the carburetor bowl that showed that there was something in there to hold the float open. So and I go out there and hit it, and then it starts right up. So and it's not over full. It's not losing the gas. So. I don't know what the heck it was. It just made a mess for me today, that's all. Alright, I fired up the John Deere here. Still got a little crank in issue on that. And I think I got it set to where the choke should work. But it just took a little bit to crank her, but she idles. Oh, and it idles nice. So... I kept getting told, nope, it needs a new carburetor. No, it just needed to be clean. There was something in there that was plugging up a jet. So, well, I'm waiting for the kids to bring out my cat food that I've forgotten for two days. Good thing you had some out here. So, they're bringing that out to me so I can go ahead and feed him. Feed him and... I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. I don't know if Roger's coming up this weekend or not, or what's going on. All I know is I'm tired of smelling gas. And I smell like gas, so I gotta go home and clean. Or do my clothes right away, otherwise wife will be complaining. Boy, stinks in here. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I, I mean, according to the dipstick, and I've been thinking, why didn't it show up? Well, Gas don't stick to anything and with that much gas in it. Uh, yeah. By the way, I guess that's that. So, and like I said again, uh, check out old Iron Man. Check out uh, Drive Shaft Drew. Star Puss Redneck something. I, I, yeah, I'm still not by a computer, bud. And Darren Chavon, and uh, old, you know, there, there's a lot of good channels out there. So, well, guys, you all take care and have a good one, and uh, we'll see what this weekend brings. So, talk to you later. Bye.